Nothing says Christmas like beautiful homemade mince pies. They're actually really, really easy to make. This is what you do. You start off with some currants and sultanas and raisins, some lemon and orange zest, some beautiful almonds, brown sugar. You mix all of that stuff together. I've got some grated apple, which is also a beautiful inclusion into, uh, into the mince pies. And then you put some spice, whatever you like. I've got some clove and cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. You add that stuff in, some brandy, some melted butter. And it's the simplest thing in the world because you literally throw it all together into a bowl, you mix it up, and that is then ready to go into your pastry filling. And I'm going to show you how to put a bit of a different topping on the tart so they're not actually a closed pie. They have a little decoration to them. It's really simple. Okay, to the pastry. Over here, I have all of my dry ingredients. You can add your finely diced butter. Now, this is kind of important. You leave the butter nice and cold, so straight from the fridge, and you chop it up into a little fine dice because what you want to do is to have this butter evenly dispersed without really working the dough. You want the butter to be mixed through, but you don't want to mix it too much because then it's going to become really brittle and tough. You want it to be beautiful and buttery still. Okay, cold water goes straight in. And as soon as it comes together, we turn it off. Let's have a look. I think that's enough. And you can just finish it off by hand. Okay, so just turn it out onto a board or a work surface. And without really working it too much at all, just sort of press all of that together. And then we're going to divide it into three even parts. So you can just sort of flatten those out so they're going to be easy to roll. Wrap them up. That goes into the fridge for rest for about half an hour and then I'm going to bring it out, roll it and show you how to finish off the mince pies. Our pastry is rested in the fridge for about half an hour um, so all of that gluten has had the chance to relax. Really lightly dust it with flour on both sides. And then you just roll that dough out and it should be quite a crumbly dough so it should be relatively hard to roll out. Once you get it to about half a centimetre or, or even slightly less, you can then go ahead and cut your discs using a pastry cutter. You pick it up and then just push it straight into your container like that. I actually prefer my mince pies to look a little imperfect, so I try not to make the edges so perfect like they came out of a shop. I want them to look like I made them myself. Um, so I actually like the little imperfection. Now with the remainder of your pastry, go and get yourself some cutters that really represent the holidays, Christmas, I've got some little stars, I've got some shooting stars, you know, and go ahead and just cut out some nice shapes, just like that, because that is what's going to go on the top of the pies. So the last thing we need to do is to fill our pies. So get your mince, get yourself a teaspoon and just go ahead. Be careful not to put too much of the filling because otherwise it'll of course bubble out over the side and make the pies stick. So you want to sort of put a good generous teaspoon but not much more than that. Once you've filled your tarts or your pies, grab something like a little offset palette knife and pop the tops straight onto your pies like that. Last step is you take an egg with just a little bit of cream that you've whisked with a fork, give them a quick old brush, and then they're ready to go in the oven. And in just minutes, you're going to have the room filled with the smell of Christmas and these beautiful little mince pies. Here's a batch I made earlier. I've let them cool. Look at that. They look fantastic. You can just dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar or, or icing sugar if you like, but they literally just pop on out and they look just like that. You could put a little dollop of uh, thickened cream or you could eat them just as they are.